Facebook ad accounts get hacked all the time. Let me repeat that. Facebook ad accounts get hacked all the time. So you need to protect yourself as an advertiser to protect your credit card, protect your ad account, and protect yourself as well. There are two ways that we can do that. First way is you need to turn on two-factor authentication on your personal Facebook profile. The second way is you need to verify your domain, AKA your website. You need to verify that through Facebook Business Manager. Having those two things in place is going to verify you are who you are to Facebook and help keep your account protected. I am Amanda Robinson, I am the digital gal, and this is how you keep your Facebook ad account secure. The first thing we're going to do is we're gonna head on over into Facebook on your desktop and we are going to turn on two-factor authentication. Up in the top right-hand corner, we have this drop-down menu right here. You're going to wanna to go into settings and privacy, and then from there, you're going to choose settings. This is going to bring us into your settings menu for your personal profile. We then want security and login. Once you're on security and login from the menu screen, then we have some options here. Partway down, you're going to see two-factor authentication. Here, you can edit this and you can turn two-factor authentication on. Facebook is going to prompt you for your password. You do need to know your password for Facebook for all of these portions of navigating through. Here you can turn two-factor authentication on. Once it's turned on, you have a choice of what methods you want to use to be able to have a secondary device to help verify that you are who you are. You can either have it through a text message sent via SMS to your cell phone, or you can use an authentication app. I use an app called Authy, A-U-T-H-Y, and I use that for my 2FA, two-factor authentication for a oh, all sorts of different apps from Facebook to Amazon to LinkedIn to my Stripe account, all sorts of things. So I use one app that that lives on my cell phone or on my iPad. I can access it from multiple devices. Uh, you also have the option of downloading recovery codes. I highly recommend that you do that. I'm not going to show my codes because I don't want you stealing them. <laughs> but you, if you click on show codes, it'll show you those backup codes. You can copy those, paste them. You can hide them in a vault somewhere, keep them somewhere safe so that should you lose your cell phone or lose your secondary device for authentication, you can use one of those backup codes. You can only use them once and then they're no good. You have several codes to choose from. So just keep, keep a list of when you've used them. Alternately, you could set up an actual security key uh, using a universal second factor uh, security key um, through USB or an NFC. It's a lot of words. Don't worry about it right now. Most of you are going to go with a text message to verify that you are who you are. All right, so now you have two-factor authentication turned on. What does that mean? That means the next time you go to log into Facebook, either on a new device or if you've logged out on your current device and you try to log back in, Facebook not only needs your email and password, but they're also going to ask you to verify that you are who you are using a separate device. So whether it's sending a text message to your cell phone or whether it's asking you for the security code from your authenticator app, or if you need to use one of those hard copy uh, codes that you copied and pasted from your backup codes, those are the different methods. However, where most people get tripped up is that there's an, an additional way that Facebook can verify. Um, and what happens is you go to log in on one device and it says, hey, we've sent a, a notification to your Facebook account that you're already logged in, in in another device. So you can simply go to, say if it's your iPad or your cell phone or the other device, another device that you're not trying to currently log into, and it'll have a notification. You can click on that notification and you can verify, yes, that was me that tried to log in. So you don't have to put in any additional codes or anything. Facebook will automatically, automatically verify that you are who you are and log you in automatically. Next, we're going to set up domain verification. If you are running Facebook ads and you are sending traffic off of Facebook onto your website, Facebook wants to know that you, in fact, own your website. It helps keep our entire advertising ecosystem more secure if we can verify website owners. So that's what domain verification is doing. So there's a few different ways that you can verify your domain. We're going to do this through Business Manager. Heading over into Business Manager on the left-hand side, you wanna be under Brand Safety and under Domains. Here you can add your domain by typing in your website without the www dot or HTTPS, etc. Just the website name dot com or dot CA or dot AU, whatever your website domain is. So once you add that domain, it's not yet verified. It's going to look something like this. You have a red dot, it's waiting verification. So you have a couple steps that you need to take. You can choose to verify your domain in one of three ways. 
One is through DNS verification. So you copy this little snippet of code and you add it into the DNS records at your domain level. So if you're using something like godaddy.com for um, where you purchased your website URL, that's where you're going to go and make the edits to your DNS record and drop in your unique little snippet of code into that DNS record in order to verify. The other way of doing it is uploading an HTML file. So you can download your verification file, you go into the root directory of your website and you upload that HTML file. The third way and one of the more common ways is going to be meta tag verification. This is the same thing essentially as taking your Facebook pixel and installing it on your website. You're just taking a small snippet of code and you're going and dropping that into the header of your website. And with all of these methods, once they choose one, you don't need to do all three. Once you've chosen your method, then you can come back here and hit verify. In my case, I don't have this on, so it's not recognizing the record. It can take up to 24 hours for the records to appear after you've installed them for everything to talk back and forth to each other. So there might be a small delay. Um, meta tags are usually quite fast. And then once your domain is verified, you want to take one additional step and you want to connect your page to that verified domain so that you can advertise confidently with it. So you'd click on add assets, choose your page from the list. And there you go. You now have a verified domain with your page connected to it. So to recap, we're gonna keep your Facebook ad account safe by doing two things. What are those two things? First of all, we're going to turn on two-factor authentication on your personal profile, and you're gonna have every single admin and every single advertiser, anyone who's accessing your account, you're going to also make sure that they have two-factor authentication turned on. Even though it can sometimes be a hassle, it is there to protect you and there to keep you safe, keep Facebook safe, and keep your ad account and credit card safe. So do it. The second thing you're going to do is verify that domain with Facebook. So go into Facebook, into Business Manager, all the way into Brand Safety under Domains, add your domain in there, go and take those extra steps of um, installing that additional snippet of code if you're using the um, HTML code, or if you're using the um, header code that you're putting in, or if you're verifying with DNS records. Whichever choice, whichever way you choose, um, follow those steps and get that domain verified. So if you have those two things in place, then the likelihood of you having your ad account um, shut down or having your business manager shut down or having you as an advertiser, uh, having your advertiser rights revoked, the chances of those happening are a lot more slim if you have 2FA turned on and your domain verified. So go forth, go make everything secure and then come back and learn how to do Facebook ads with me, Amanda Robinson, the digital gal. I teach a four week Facebook ads boot camp, teaching you Facebook ads from the ground up, learning how to create your ads, learning how to do your audiences and targeting, learning budgets and strategy, as well as reporting and optimizing. If that's, if that's of any interest to you, hop on over to swiftkickintheads.com and check it out. To learn more about Facebook advertising, make sure that you subscribe so you can stay up to date on all the latest changes, tips, tricks, and everything that you need to know as a small business owner or entrepreneur doing your own Facebook ads. I'm Amanda Robinson. I am the digital gal, and I will see you next time.